hello friends hope you are doing well so today i will show you how to configure office 65 mailboxes for backup in commvault means how to take the backup of office 65 mails in commvault so before proceeding with the console of commvault we have some prerequisites which we need to do on the office 65 portal so let's log into the office 65 portal here we have I already created one application here we need to create the application we have to give the rise to that application and we have to enter the application id key value and directory id in our in our convert console okay so please note we need three things application id key value and directory id okay so once you log into your azure active directory you have to go to the app registration in the app registration click new registration and give any name to this as i have given convert to previous one we can give convert one or anything you can give okay and this is the option click register okay so once application is registered click on view api permissions yeah and click on grant admin consent click on yes okay so once it is done please note the application id of this you can copy from here please note this and also you need a directory id as i said you need this also and copy and paste it somewhere Now we need some certificates and uh, please click on the certificates and secrets. Add one new client secret and we can give a name to this uh, like CV key simple and set never expire. Add. okay please note this value this is a cv key and we need this value later okay so let's go to the console console now in the console console we need to add Office 65 account. Simple select Exchange mailbox. Go to the user mailbox. And here we can give any name like of Office 65 also, or like Office 65. We can give. Okay, store policy we have already created. Index server that has to be there in place. So we can select this one. And job results directory. Please note this job results directory has to be a shared path. And we have to give this. You can create any job result directories. I have already created one. Job results. Okay. And we can. I can delete this and I can use this one 
job results. All right. So copy this path, not like this. You have to copy the network path. This path we need to give. And this part has to be accessible from console. So you can give any path, any network shared path, not necessary. This has to be the local, right? It, has, it can be anything. It has to be, that's it. It has to be a network shared path. Here we need to give the access node. Okay. Access node is the one where we have, we have uh, cloud apps is installed. So I, on console itself, I have already installed the cloud apps. You have to select this. Here is the option where you have to select which action online version you are using. Action online through on premise AD or Azure AD. So in my case, I am going with the Azure directory. Yeah. So here we need to enter the application ID, application key value. As a directory ID, so here we have application ID. And then application key value. So this is the secret key. As your directory ID, this is the directory ID. Okay. Yeah, cloud reason let it default. And here we need to give the local system account as well as action online. So local system account is the user who can access to the console and the user who can access your dot network shared drive. Alright, so we need to give exchange online as well. Recall service is not required right now, so just finish it. So now it will check all the configuration which we have given. Yeah, so it is added. Here we can have this. Right, so here in the mailbox you can discover your mailboxes configure and discover so it will fetch all the users created in your environment and you can pick and choose who you want to take the backup or who you want to archive it. We need to wait till this discovery progress. So when it's done, it will show you all the users has been created in your 
as a right to account you can pick and choose which you uh, which one or user you want to configure yes it will take some time because it fetch all the information through internet and it will uh, get the request to office 65 account and then it will get a reply for that it will take some time it may take some time Yeah, so it has discovered all the users. You can select all of them and press OK. Okay, so before proceeding with this, we need to create the policies as well. Okay, so let's go to the policy section and then we'll come back here. Okay, we need to give, we need to create the archiving policies. I am giving the same name like this. Archive. And here you know, you can give any criteria which it will match. Okay, let's say I have given one day. All this available, all these options are available. Include only message that contain attachments. Because this is the archival rule which we can define. In case you want to take the backup, you define the archival in such a way that no any mail will get deleted, but it will get backed up. Okay, so anything which you want to add, you can add here. So these folders are excluded. Don't include here inbox and indoor and send items because otherwise if you add the inbox and send items here it will get excluded. Exclude message types, don't exclude anything, include folders here. So include folders, I will add this one, send items. Only these two right now I'm adding. If you want, you can add your deleted items, routes, all the things also you can add. Okay. This press okay. And give confirm. Yeah, so this policy is created. Same way we will create the cleanup policy as well. Message rules here. Uh, you uh, you have to define the archival rules. As I said, if you want to go with the only backup, don't create the don't replace it with a stub or don't delete it okay if you want with the archival then you have to delete the message from the source and you have to keep it in your target so hence i won't configure here because i'm going for the backup in case you want to go with the archive then you have to replace the message with the stub 
all the things stuff all the stuff you have to do here you can define the quota here you can define the exclude folders these are the excluded types are excluded include folders you can include this so as I said you no need to do this because we are not going to clean up just select deleted items missed out something okay uh, so it's going to the from mailbox on action server just keep the message You can define this way for years. And don't run the cleanup policy. In case you want to take the backup only. Yeah. Here yeah. this is the retention. Retention mode, time based. Retain messages indefinitely. So we have defined the retention as in now go back to the office 65 where we created uh, where we have to configure the mailboxes right configure just go Please like my video and subscribe to the channel for, uh, to get the latest updates on my upcoming videos. And requesting please subscribe my channel and like the videos and provide the feedback on the comment box. And let me know if you want any other feature, any specific feature in the, uh, you want me to upload the video for the same. Uh, let me know in the comment box. So all the user mailboxes has discovered. Select all of them. Press OK and apply the policies. And press OK. Done. If you want to do the archive or backup of particular mailbox, just select this one and go to the archive. If you want to do this for all of them, 
just go to the content archive all of them okay and now by default it is showing the immediate uh, incremental by default it is showing the incremental you can convert this job as a full so by checking this box you can convert job to full and since it will be a first backup the by default it will be a full only So here it will show the backup of those. Let me start. Again, the we had has three phases. Now it is on the finalized phase. Yeah, backup is complete. So this is how you have to configure the Office 65 mailboxes and the setting you have to run on the Office server level in the Azure Active Directory. You have to get the application, then register it, and provide and get three information: application ID, directory ID, and application key. That's secret. That's it. These three information you need to enter in the console and discover the mailboxes and it is done. What is done. Hope you like the video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel and provide your feedback in the comment box. Thank you.